Welcome to another episode coming at you from LopezLacene.com. So today, you know, I want to talk about some of the easiest money that I've ever made. And it's probably not going to be where you would like. I know at the time when I first met uh you know I got on my um I got on a journey. I at the time I was just trying to make extra money. And this was back in early two thousands. Two thousand two. I had a job. I wasn't getting paid enough money. I wasn't even making enough money to make rent at the time. I was just barely getting by. I had rent, I had a car payment, and the money just wasn't enough. I was working six, seven days a week. So I was just trying to make an extra three, four, five hundred dollars at a time. And I did just that. And I remember, man, this is when my space was out. Um, and a couple, maybe two, three years later, Amazon was out. And at that time, this is 2007, and Amazon was selling books at the time. I remember when Amazon first came out, they were selling books. And I had... I always had a lot of books, but I had a couple of books that I wasn't reading or didn't like at the time. And at the time, uh, not only were Amazon selling people's books, they were actually reselling books. So if you had a book, <clears throat> um, you could resell it online. So, at the time, I think I had two, three books, and I resold them, and I got, eh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember if I got the same amount of money that I paid for them. I doubt it, but I, I made some pretty decent money doing that. So what I did is, I started thinking about where could I go to get more books to sell. So at the time, they they had a um, a book auction in my town where I live at, at at this time. This was in Charlotte, North Carolina. They had a book auction, and I went to this book auction. I don't remember how I found out about it, but I went to this book auction, and they were had they were giving man thousands of books away. I'm talking like like in bulk. You might have had like two, three hundred, five hundred copies of books, all kinds of books. Some books that were out of print, some books that were like a hundred, two, three hundred years old, books I never heard of at the time. And people were buying them. People actually wanted them at the time. And I never heard of any of these books because at the time I wasn't reading as many books as I do to this day. So I saw a lot of people bidding on these books. So at the time, it, the, 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 the cell phone wasn't, wasn't like it is today. Um, I don't even, I don't even know if Amazon had an app back then. I don't think so. You know, so I couldn't, you know, like today, if I see a book somewhere, I would go to the app on my phone and check the price and all that. Back then, it wasn't a lot of that going on. Um, I knew I wasn't thinking like that. And and uh, apps wasn't like it was today, 10, 15 years ago. You had to go, you had to find out stuff through word of mouth back then in the early 2000s. Even 10 years ago. It wasn't like it is today. 
There well, wasn't a lot of access 10, 15 years ago like it is today. So what I did, man, I started buying big bulks of book. I started selling them on Amazon like crazy. eBay as well, like crazy. But the only problem with that is that was good money. <clears throat> but I run out of books. Then I have, now I've got no more money left. So I might, it might take me three to four months to sell out 500 books. All right? Then when I run out of books, I might go another six months, six to 12 months without, without another auction to go to in my, in my city at the time. So I'm like, there got to be an easy way to do this, right? So I'm like, at that time, I was like, man, why don't I just write my own book? That way I'll never run out, right? So what I did is I started a blog. Because at the time, I didn't know how, I mean, it might be, you know, I didn't know you could sell. Back then, self-publishing was expensive. And you had to pay like uh, thousands of dollars. Up. I think it's like somebody told me five, ten, ten G's up front. I think it was like five, ten thousand up front for um, a certain amount of copies. I think like 500 copies. It was like five thousand dollars. And I think a thousand copies was like. $10,000, something like that. Whatever the price was, I didn't have it. I know that much. And these were hard covers, too. There wasn't no paperback uh, at that time. You couldn't print on demand. None of that stuff didn't exist like it does today. So, and at that time, I never thought about trying to get a publishing deal. I just never thought about it because I wasn't writing. And I it's never, even to this day, I've never tried to get a, a major publishing deal. I just never thought about it. It's never crossed my mind, believe it or not. So I started my blog. And I started getting a lot of views on my blog. And then I started a YouTube channel. My, I have another channel. A dating relationship and... and Traveling channel, basically. And it kind of took off. Started getting a lot of views. And I started getting so many questions. So what I did, I just decided to put it in a book. And this is the second book, Love Can't Wait. Now, in the first book, this is actually, I don't think I have the first. I don't have the first book around here. But this this is actually the second book. The first book was a book called A Chicken's Guide to Having Women Bank for You, Sex, Lust, and Lies. That was the first. Actually, here, give me a second. Actually, this is the first book right here. First book. And this book was less than 100 pages. But a lot of people like this book. A lot of people like this book. A lot of people like this book more than this book. It's kind of, I thought that was kind of weird. But anyways, so what happened is this book, at the time, I didn't know how to promote anything. I didn't know how to promote the book. So what happened is I went to a conference and I learned how to promote almost anything you could ever imagine, online and offline. And then end up, so two years go by, I sold a couple hundred copies of uh, the first book. And now I'm writing the second book. And this book, which is the second book, this started flying off the shelves. And you know, it took me about 
Really, six years to get all this stuff together. So, this is probably some of the easiest money I ever made. Because I didn't have to go to the auction no more to, to sell other people's books. Because if you don't, I kept running out of products. That was the whole problem. And I kept running out of money. <laughs> I had two problems. I kept running out of product. I kept running out of money. So when I started writing on my own, writing my own stuff, my own books, I basically killed two problems. I don't run out of my own books. I can't. Because it's print on demand. On Amazon. So I don't run out of my own books and I don't run out of money anymore. So it's all good. So this is some of the easiest money I ever made. That's the whole point of me telling this story and doing this video. And I don't, I'm not saying you should become a writer. The whole point of me doing this video is to say whatever your talents may be, find a way to get paid from it. That's all I'm saying. Find a way to get paid from what, whatever talents you have. Find a way to get paid from whatever you have in your mind. And bring it into reality. Because there's something that you know. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care how you grew up. I don't care who you know. I don't care... If you cripple, disabled, whatever, there's something that you know, there's something that you can do that comes easy to you, but not so easy to everyone else. And there's somebody out here that's willing to take your advice. And so, there's somebody out there that's willing to take their hard-earned money out of their pocket and pay you for, for it. No doubt about it. So, hey, any questions, any concerns, of how to go about taking your talents and getting paid from it. Go to digitalmarketingfast.com. That's digitalmarketingfast.com. And I'll be sure to put the link below as well. So, hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.